Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my dare to win save. Currently with Blackburn uh, in the championship. Took them over halfway through this season uh, from Hereford. Uh, for those of you that have been following the channel and, and, and watching videos, you know we've been um, under transfer embargo for the last couple of months and uh, talk of takeover. Well, Colton completes a £134 million Blackburn takeover. Delighted by the deal, looking for the club to float club on a stock exchange. And personal message, I want to thank you for your patience. Uh, according to my plans for Blackburn, the club have become public limited company raising. Th was that all? When they said that with the amount on the takeover, I was expecting a silly amount of money. Um, so we've got a club vision developed. It's not going to change a lot, is it? Let's be honest. Work within wage budget, grow club's reputation. Then for this season, finish mid-table, be competitive in the FA Cup, which we were. Build a reputation, work towards developing the best youth system in the country. That's new, because I've asked them to uh, put some money into the youth, and they've said no all the way. Um, and then next year, we want to top half finish, contract expires, grow the club's reputation, work towards developing. No, that's good. This is much better. So, um, transfer embargo's been lifted. I mean, it's April. I haven't really been looking at... Ah, that's not true. So, we do have a transfer coming in. Joan Medros. Um, I said I was going to look at improving my defence. This guy could play defender left, right or central. Um, he's not really going to be a centre half, is he? Let's be honest. Unless when I get him, I can develop him a bit. But five foot six, no centre half. So he's going to be coming literally to play full back, left or right, just to cover. Um, yeah. So please note, club is once more in a position to operate the transfer market. Uh, Blackburn board make extra transfer funds available. An increase of £5 million on the previous budget. Okay. Um, they've increased the wage budget a little bit, I think, as well there. Um, yeah, well, they haven't put any money in the club. Have they cleared our debts and loans? Yeah, they have. They took a big chunk out. So this must be the money they've just given us, start date. No, it's not, is it? So yeah, that, that, that's all that's left on there. I thought they might have cleared the loan when they come in, but that's fine. So we're going to play a few days, and then I'll be back to play end of the season. Quick update, it's sort of, we've hit that glitch. After we um, lost in the FA Cup, we really struggled to get our form back. I've mentioned in the last one, Still struggling with this. He's just come to me and asked for um, to remove him off transfer list, which I've done. But he still wants to leave. I expected that to go, but it hasn't. But I am slowly winning everybody over. So we'll just wait and see what develops there. Um, League-wise, we are about mid-table. 13th out of 24 clubs. Um, if we hadn't drawn the last game against Preston North End, we, we'd have been in with a shout here, but I think six games, 18.73. Nah, it's not going to happen. I'm kidding myself. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Oh, what an end of season we're having. Um, we've ticked the main boxes. These are ones that are um, longer term. And yeah, we're, we're within the wage budget. Um, and I'm expecting... Mm, I don't know about the reputation yet. Not really done a lot. Um, looking at the league, we've thrown we've thrown a good finish away with some silly results. I'll show. I'll, I'll run through some of the results in a minute. Uh, we were seven points off, I think, last time we chatted, and yeah, we're eight now. Um, we are a PLC now as well. Uh, that went through on the club vision, so we're actually um, yeah, we're we're being floated on the stock exchange now. Um, so I'm expecting to see a little bit of movement on that. Whether we will or not, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, and fixtures. It's been an up and down um, type of thing. We win 5-1 and then we lose 2-1 away at Cardiff, which we should have won. We lost 1-0 at home to Sunderland, which we should have should really have won. We, we just didn't show up. Um, it looks better than it does. I, I say that. We, we we play, we do a lot of tippy-tapping around with the ball and we get it through and, and as you can see, 17 shots, 4 on targets, just not good enough. 
just not good enough at this level. Um, so we've been playing around a little bit with formations. Um, we finally settled on this again. Um, see what's going to happen with that. Um, yeah, we got two games. Different ends of the scale. Wickham, bottom, relegated, Middlesbrough, fifth, pushing for a promotion. Um, so it's going to be an interesting episode to finish this season off on in our, our half season with Blackburn. We have made a difference. I think we've got some players coming in on... Sorry, my dog's playing me up again. Every time I start a video in, he decides that he's not going to sleep. He's just going to play me up. But... Um, yeah, so there's not a lot of changes I've got to make to the side. We're going to go with this. And yeah, we'll show him onto his weaker foot. So we've had some good performances. Don't get me wrong, uh, there's a lot to feel confident about going forward. Um, we're trying to sign some better players, but they just... They don't want to come to us. They they don't think the stature of Blackburn is enough. At the... About 15 minutes in. Not a lot's happened. Uh, it's just... This is really the first highlight um, over the top for Notto. I'm trying him up front today. He's scored some goals uh, in a season. Um, they've dried up a bit since they come to us. And I'm wondering whether that's because I've been playing him out in the wide positions and rotating him around a bit. So I thought I'd give him a last couple of games up front. See whether that gets more out of him. Travis is into Clarkson and oh, Phillips <laughs> in a world of his own there. So yeah, we're you know we want to finish in a top ten if we can, but um, it's not looking promising at the moment. I don't know what it is. I, I still think I'm suffering with all these guys that want away, uh, and even though we're starting to get um, the dynamics into the greens. I've still got so many players unhappy at the club and, you know, I've had about three or four meetings with team leaders that want to know why such and such isn't being given a playing time and he wants to play in the position that my best player is playing in, you know, so that's, that is one of the things with a game that's frustrating. You can't sort of get into the nitty gritty about it. The fact that he's, when you, oh, what a save, when you play him, he's playing it like a 6.2 and doing nothing, giving a ball away that leads to goals. So, yeah, it's frustrating that we started well and it seems to have dropped off a little bit since since we got going. So the first half, it's been a nothing half, to be honest. So, um, let's see then. Yeah, you can look stressed, mate. You're playing awful. 6.3 and you're one of the top players at the club, mine. If you want to play up, I can play up as well. And I am. Yeah, that's all right. I'm 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 not happy with him. He wants away. He, he's playing like a Muppet. So I'll treat him like a Muppet. And in fact, I'm going to take him off now because he's doing nothing. And who am I going to bring on for him here? This is a problem I've got at the minute. I just don't have that depth that I want. But yeah, Rebo's one of those. He's causing a lot of trouble in the background. Constantly, he actually turned down a transfer and then said that he wanted to come off a transfer list. Yeah, he still wants to leave the club. Um, and I've had a couple of... Well, I've had one team meeting about him, about the way I'm treating him. And I'm playing him nearly every game. It's not that I'm treating him badly. It's just that he's got his button his hand because we got relegated last season which again was nothing to do with me but I've just come in and can't seem to get a clean slate with them but uh, I'm gonna have to go attacking here because this is bottom of the side um, demand more and we're gonna have to go this is a bottom of the league and we're playing like a bunch of fools there's just ah oh, that's better Oof. yeah we're just I don't know we've just lost that cohesion that linking up the team aren't playing together now and they were playing better than this when when I first came to the club and now there's just nothing no effort no you know, I mean you said in the first half the guy running away from the ball the ball was you know it's yeah it's frustrating 
really is frustrating. Um, but I'm hoping get the close season out of the way, get them off on holiday, and then when they come back, we'll have um, a better chance to go at it next season. I've seen enough this season to prove that you know this was the right move. Well, definitely the right move from Everford. Um, yeah, but it's all of this stuff that's really frustrating. I mean, this is a world class player. And a nil nil at home away, sorry, at Wickham. Um is just not not acceptable. You know, and this is another player that wants away, doesn't want to be at the club. And there you go, we're suddenly looking now that we're gonna finish in the bottom half of the table rather than the top half. And for the last you know, for the first few games I was here, it looked like we were gonna stroll through it. Real frustrating, yeah, and yeah. Um, I honestly thought we were in with a shout for the um, for the playoffs, but uh, it wasn't to be. We're on the dynamic screen, I'll just explain a couple of things about this. Okay, this this is a lonely player. I'm not interested in him. He's 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 not going to play. Um, Sergi Canos had a lot of problems. He wasn't playing. Wanted to start more games, so I agreed. Played him. Played him more games. I accepted an offer from Young Boys, and he refused the contract. Uh, uh, and then this came up, and I'm like, you know, this guy wants to leave. He's he's actually being okay about it. Um, this guy's being okay about it. This guy's being a complete about it. Um, you know, this guy. I, I've offered him out umpteen times and he just refuses every move. Uh, I've accepted. The board actually stopped. Um, I'd lowered the money that much to try and get rid of him. The board actually blocked the transfer that I'd agreed because it wasn't the value of his money. Clarkson's being okay about it. Once played a better division, can't blame him for that. So does Travis. Um, but I honestly think all of this, which is giving me this here, is causing problems because other than that, we're green across the board, even here. You know, uh, we're going up every week on that, bringing it down. It's just um, a bit, a bit of a mare. And then when you look at the schedule, I took over. Where did I take over here? Four wins. We lost in the FA Cup, which, with hindsight, I should maybe have played a stronger team. But you know, I thought, no, I've got to concentrate on the league. We're, we were never going to win the FA Cup. We then lost West Brom, who were in the bottom three at the time. I thought oh, that blips over, but it wasn't. We had a bit of a run. Then we lost again, a bit more of a nothing, just, you know. Then I thought, oh, we're, we're coming out of the other end. And now we're into this where they try for one game and not another. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a frustrating end of season, to say the least. So, we're currently 12th. All right, we're playing Middlesbrough today. We're now 6th. So, Middlesbrough... Have they should be okay anyway, but they're probably still going to play their, the best they can. We are at home. If results go for us, we can just scrape top 10, but I'm, I've gone from like thinking we were going to challenge for the playoffs to not, you know, not even finishing in the top 10, but that's fine. Um, it's part of the game, isn't it? At the end of the day, I've still got, I've got youngsters here um, that just haven't got the depth. These, a lot of these, I've got two lone players here that they're not performing for me. I don't know why. He looks like he should do a, a trick, but he doesn't. Um, and this guy is the same. He, he looks like he's, he could be quite handy, but he just doesn't doesn't perform when he's on the park. So um, we've got to persevere with this guy. He wants to play left, but he doesn't. Let's try it. Let's put him. Trouble is, it didn't buy you to play on the left. I played you to play up front. And I mean, looking at this, he, he, he can play up front, you know, he's an advanced forward attack and that's where he's going to play. It will come. He scored five goals. I think he scored two for, this is what he scored for us. But I think if you go back to where he was at before, 13 goals. Although his, his actual performance wasn't a lot better, in fairness. Um, yeah, perhaps Leeds knew what they were doing by letting him go, but. We're going to persevere with him. Joe Arebo, this is a guy he's frustrating. In fact, I don't, I'm don't. i not even going to start him today because I know what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm going to change this a bit a little bit because he'll play out there as well. Uh, 
and the guy I put up front, Leonard, he's actually smacked the goals in in the last few games when I have played him up there. And Henderson's a good boy. I'm going to give him a go instead of... No, I'm not. Yeah, it's probably going to be Henderson's last game if he plays. So I'm, I'm going to stick with Travis, who I'm hoping is going to stay stick around for next season. But we'll see. So that's the team for today then. Uh, Boyce Clark in goal, who I have to say is absolutely awesome. He has, he really has been. Ellison, the young lad, fullback. He, he's coming through, making a name for himself. Um, early days in his development. He's only a youngster, 19 years old. But he needs first team football to, to progress. Mummin and Phillips and Sirkin at the back. I'm going to be looking to change the back four quite a bit. I have got um, one guy coming in that could play across the... Well, he could play full back either side. Clarkson holding midfield. I'm hoping to talk him around to stay in, even though he wants to play in a higher division. Travis and Biom, he, he wants out. Travis wants out. Gunanto, Teklik and Leonard. So these two are my signings. Um, was, is that true? Yes, it is. I did sign Teklik. Um, so they're going to be staying. Leonard just come back from injury I believe because he wasn't in my um, starting 11 originally so yeah let's hope for a better day today we're playing a better team so we'll probably play better um, we all made us but I'm not interested in that sort of thing point a finger no excuses let's go and here we go and the crowds aren't coming at the minute. I was hoping to get this full, but um, by challenging for playoffs, I get a bit of cash, more cash in. We are a PLC, so no. So I'm expecting, I don't know whether that's going to work. I've never had that a takeover in a game before where we've become a PLC. I don't know whether that means I'll get dividends put into transfers or whether it just what it means for the club yet. So we'll learn that as we go along. And uh, hopefully it will. All pick up next season. So I've got an injury right from the off with Harry Leonard. The guy I thought was going to do me a favour today. Obviously not. But again, it's all us. And this is Middlesbrough. They're sixth in the league. They're pushing for a playoff place, which I've got to get. I, I think even if they well, even if they lose, their are uh, goal difference is enough as long as we don't put seven on them their goal difference is enough to get them in but um point the finger play let's go with that let's see how we go second half then so we're going to demand more and we're actually going to go attacking because we need to win these games and it could be that the attacking um is why we're dropping our games losing games but this is the way I want to play. You know, I've had players complaining that they're not used to pressing like I'm asking them to. There's only one way to get used to it, isn't it? and that's to keep doing it. So, technically, a cracking effort. Oh, I thought that was in. So, we've got a corner. That was a cracking save, actually, wasn't it, for the keeper? I'm surprised he's in the same shirt as the team. They don't normally allow that. And he's took a good catch there, hasn't he? So, before we get this going, I'm going to do the rest of my subs hangs off and I'm going to put Henderson in there I'm circling off and he doesn't play there it's going to cause me grief isn't it and he's not as unfit as some of these I'm going to do that just to see if he can do something for me up there or do that put him back there and put So I want to put him there, but I know he won't do anything. So we go with this guy. And let's give him a go for Clarks and see what happens. That's four. We keep one back just in case there's an issue. Which normally is if I pick five. <laughs> Always the same. Um, and yeah, it's just fizzling out. It's been a nothing game, and hardly any highlights. Last one of the season. Because this is our last game. We're not going to get anything else out of this. And it's going to be a boring nil nil, guys. I am surprised. A little bit better on the ratings against a better team, so I suppose you've got to raise your game. And there, like I said, he's, he's been awesome since I signed him. He had a few dodgy games at start. But, uh, yeah, overall, fantastic. So we're going to say 
ta-da to these guys. Um, send them off on holiday. Um, then what I'll do is I'll play through the close season. And pre-season. And then we come back for... So what I'll do is I'll do my end of season review. And that will be the first season of next, the first video of next season, if that makes sense. So we do the season review and the first game of next season as one video and um, go from there. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed, um, please leave a like. If you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button so you can see when these videos are released and when we're updating it. We're uh, still pretty new into this. You know, I haven't been doing it that long, only a few weeks into the into the my YouTube life so to speak so yeah thank you for watching <laughs>